Today is the first day for new month, and I want you to step into May with unwavering faith. Even when things seem uncertain, trust in God's promises. Let's start the new month believing that God will see us through whatever comes our way. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see, and the conviction of their reality faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. God wants us to live by faith. He is pleased when we trust in Him instead of choosing doubt and fear. But on the other hand, the enemy wants you to doubt God. He wants you to panic and second-guess God's faithfulness. Through tough times, unanswered prayers, discouragement, impatience, and other things, he tries to chip away at your faith. It is so easy to doubt God when things in your life seem to be not working out. It's easy to be fearful when your prayers are not being answered and it seems like God has turned a deaf ear to you, but even in those kinds of situations, you need to maintain your faith in God. Don't lose heart and don't give up. We need to persevere in our faith, no matter how bleak things seem to be. In the book of Hebrews, we are encouraged to hold on to our hope and faith in God. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. For yet a little while, and the coming one will come and will not delay. But my righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 36 to 38. As you trust in God, you will be rewarded by receiving what He promised you. When it seems hopeless, that is not the time to falter and shrink back. That's the time to hold on even tighter to your faith in God. The thing we need to remember is that we can't get far without faith in God. We will not receive His promises for us without faith. And God in His goodness will allow situations to come our way so our faith in Him can be strengthened and grow. We see that play out in Abraham and Sarah's life. The Lord said to Abram after Lot had separated from him, Lift up your eyes and look from the place where you are, northward and southward and eastward and westward, for all the land you see I will give to you and to your offspring forever. I will make your offspring as the dust of the earth, so that if one can count the dust of the earth, your offspring also can be counted. Genesis chapter 13 verses 14 to 16. God promised Abraham that he would have children as many as the dust of the earth, but there was a problem. Sarah was barren. Was that a mistake on God's part? He could have given Abraham a wife who could have children, but instead he gave him Sarah. He did that so Abraham would have to trust God. That was the reason he joined Abraham and Sarah together. The promise God made to Abraham and Sarah could only be gained by faith in God and nothing else. God has amazing promises for us, but it's only having faith in God that you can receive them. God had an amazing plan for Mary. She was chosen to give birth to the Son of God. What an honor and privilege. But once again, there was a problem. And Mary said to the angel, 
How will this be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Luke chapter 1 verses 34 to 35 Mary wasn't married yet, so how would she give birth if she never had intercourse with a man? Her situation seemed impossible, but Mary chose to believe God. She trusted what the Lord promised her, and once again, God could have chosen a married couple to bring His Son into the world, but He chose Mary. The promise could not be obtained without faith. Because of her impossible circumstances, Mary had to trust God to do what He promised her. And because she believed in the face of the impossible, she was called blessed. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. Luke chapter 1 verses 41 to 45 Blessed are you when you have faith in the Lord when you believe He will fulfill what He has promised you, even though the odds are against you, or when there seems to be no hope in your situation, God will come through for you. Don't give in to fear. Don't let the enemy kill your faith in God. I love what it says in Romans chapter 4. Therefore, Inheriting the promise is the outcome of faith and depends entirely on faith in order that it might be given as an act of grace, unmerited favor. Romans chapter 4 verse 16 You may be at your rope's end and you are on the brink of giving up, but I want to encourage you to hold on to hope, to continue trusting in God. It's your faith in God that will shift things in your life. God will never fail you and will come through for you. Trust in Him forever. Let's pray. We trust in you, Lord. Even when it is hard to trust in you because of what's happening around us, we make a decision to have faith in you. Help us when we are in doubt. When fear is all that we can feel, we ask for your help. Help our unbelief, Lord. We want to always trust in you because you can be trusted. You have never let us down and you are not about to now. If there is any unbelief in our hearts, we bring it to you. We bring the fear and anxiety to you and anything else that is hindering us from walking in faith. Please forgive us for doubting you in dark times. We need your strength to keep going. Help us, Lord. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 instructs us to trust in you with all our hearts and not lean on our own understanding. Lord, grant us the wisdom and strength to rely on your guidance and promises, especially in times of uncertainty. Your word in Isaiah chapter 41 verses 10 assures us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lord, we cling to this promise, knowing that you are always with us, strengthening and upholding us in every situation. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, you encourage us to not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. 
let our requests be made known to you. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We surrender our anxieties and concerns to you, trusting that your peace will guard our hearts and minds. We see in James chapter 1, verse 6, the importance of faith in prayer. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. Lord, increase our faith as we come to you in prayer, believing that you hear and answer according to your will. Lord, as we enter into the month of May, we pray that it may be a month of deepening faith and unwavering trust in you. May we anchor our souls in your word and find strength in your promises. In closing, we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and goodness towards us. May our lives be a reflection of your grace and mercy as we walk in faith and obedience to your will. We end our month of April and start month of May with deeper faith in you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.